As I mentioned, we've seen a lot of health and fitness tracking solutions lately, and certainly a whole bunch here at CES. But today, we're bringing you one that adds a little personal touch with our next guest. He is founder and CEO of a company called MD Revolution USA. He is Dr. Samir Dumani. Dr. Samani, welcome into tomorrow. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Thanks Gla for having me. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Now, in your real life, you're a cardiologist, as That's I understand. Correct. That's correct. Uh, so you got my attention. Um, <laughs> just in case I should pass out or something. I know, <laughs> I know, you, I know, you, I know you're going to be able to take care. Uh, but tell me, you talk about proactive medicine. Yeah. What is that? And then we'll get into some of the cool things that you guys are doing as a result. Yeah, well, let me, let me give you a little background. So, you know, the CDC in September stated in 2012, 200,000 people died from a heart attack that could have been Prevent it. Wow. So cardiovascular disease and people like out of that, five or six out of ten of those were less than the age of sixty-five. So you know when you really take a step back and you start looking at chronic disease, cardiovascular disease, stroke, uh, even the cancers like lung, breast, colon, prostate—they're driven by factors like visceral fat, the fat that surrounds your organs. They're driven by things like cardiorespiratory fitness, which we've measured for many years in many yeah. different settings. But now it's coming to the forefront that these are actually extremely important preventing all these diseases. So CDC states that 80% of heart disease, about 40% of cancers are preventable. And you know these are behavior driven diseases in large part, yeah. in many cases. So you're not gonna solve these behavior diseases with a pill. And pharma and these industries are starting to figure that out. And so what I did was is, uh, about two and a half, three years ago, I started introducing products that will help people quantify and track what they're doing so they can try to be healthier. And I realized that there was real value. There's a science to this. It wasn't just a technology that, that was a fun gadget, that there was actually some sort of organization that could be placed around this. My, my patients would be managing their blood pressure better. And, and I realized that it wasn't the doctor who was best suited to show them how to do this stuff. And, and so we started MD Revolution um, at mdrevolution.com. You can go to and see a little bit. We started that two years ago. It was, it was a clinical lab to use all these devices. I had an IT person, a personal trainer, uh, you know, a receptionist. But no, you know, it was more about how do you use these devices? How do they come together? And we realized that you know, these things give, give great data, like this heart rate monitor. You know, my patients think that they're exercising when they rake leaves. And I, and I said, you know, I would put a heart rate monitor on. They would send me their data. And I said, well, your heart rate doesn't get above 100. This is not yeah. exercise. So you, you were, it was nice that you're out breathing some fresh air and so forth, but you weren't exercising. It was physical yeah. activity. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So th this type of precision can be driven by these devices. But, but it's right now it's siloed. Like a Fitbit goes to one app. This goes to another app. And no one's collecting that data that knows anything about the data. And, and then able to give personalized feedback and coaching. So what we did was we created RevUp Health Accelerated, which is our software platform. And we now are managing a number of different populations for corporations. Uh, we are one of our biggest uh, clients is Sharp Healthcare in uh, San Diego, California, which is a health system. And we took 200 of their sickest employees and we manage them through coaching, through this whole process. So they get data. When, we, when they put on three pounds, we know. We'll send them a message. When they log their nutrition, we tell them how they've been doing good with eating. And we give them tips. When, they, when their blood pressure is high, we tell them to go see their doctor. Um, and it's all digital. So we're able to do this remotely. So this is really what digital health is all about. It's where the future is going to go. More yeah. physicians need to start bringing the scientific rigor to the data that's produced from these de devices, make meaning of that data, and then coach people to better health. And I think you know, if we can do that, we have a, we have a chance at really bending the chronic disease curve that, we're, that really is, is an unsustainable uh, model right now when you think about the kind of you know, $2.6 trillion health care budget, $1.8 trillion of preventable chronic diseases. It's wow. not sustainable. Yeah, it's too bad you don't get excited about this. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's awesome because now we've got someone who is in not only the medical profession but as a physician who is now saying we've got to get all these have technologies to. together, and that's wonderful, but now they have to benefit us more than just a little nudge. How about some real information? And that's cool. Well, we've got to go from um, a, a cool gadget to actual outcomes. And yeah. a lot of people right now are just cool with people buying a widget and, and, and using it and selling it, but in order to really make a difference in people's health, we have to show that, that there's actually an outcome that you can generate from using these tools. Yeah. And even, like you said, if it means, hey, you've, you've gained three pounds, stop that, you know, yeah. tisk tisk. Sometimes from your doctor, you need to hear this, and all right, you know, you're right, and I've got to watch it. I've and it doesn't take, have to be a Make doctor. some changes. It could well, be, that's true. It could it, be a device in the long run. It could <laughs> be a, a, a software. <laughs> I, have, I have people with exercise physiology uh, degrees that come as undergrads that are now coaching people. I mean, there's nothing 
nothing wrong with saying, you know what, you need to get more steps if it's somebody that understands how it plays into your larger health. So the yeah. whole idea is that the doctors don't need to be you know, involved. In fact, they can just be maestros or coordinators of population health management. And that's kind of where digital health is enabling uh, a, a new kind of medicine mdrevup.com is going to get you information on the kinds of things that Samir is talking about. And we appreciate you joining us on the show. Stay pumped because you're obviously helping a lot of people. And we got to get more of this sort of using technology appropriately to help all of us. You got it. Thank you for having me. Love it. It's our pleasure. And, of course, we'll link you to Samir's site and all of our guests when you visit us at intotomorrow.com. But visit mdrevup.com. You're going to see all the, the things that he and his team are involved in. We're back with more in Las Vegas. I'm Dave Gray. Line. This is Into Tomorrow at CES on the Advanced Media Network.